Here's the, uh, what is this? This is a butt kicker. BKA, let's see if we can zoom in on there. BKA 1000-4A. I had this on eBay. Uh, got it for a very, very good price. It was uh, broke when I got it. These two main caps were uh, swelled. One actually vented. Uh, you yeah, lost some old junk. Uh, see that? Vented. Uh, pretty good vent, actually. It uh, looks like it even got hot there. Melted the uh, side of it. There were several smaller capacitors, a uh, little 100 volt, what was this thing, uh, 6.8 microfarad, 100 volt, same thing with this one. Uh, these other ones were smaller, I don't are these, 30s, 25 volt, 470, two of them, you see there the other one is, it actually blew out the bottom, let's see if I can see that. Camera's not working with me today. Oh, there you see the uh, the bottom of it's actually popped out. And then we had this uh, this guy here. Looks like he went under high frequency. Uh, I don't know if I can get it. There's a big old crack right there. There you might be able to see the crack right about in the middle. It was actually a uh, short circuit right around 2 kilohertz. So, who oh no, all we had, we got here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 parts are, were replaced. So then we had uh, two of them, the two bulks here. Uh, and then in the power amplifier, this is a class D amplifier, so there's really not much to it. And we had, uh, these two guys here, this guy down here, and if I can get the light in there, that capacitor right in the middle, C43, and what's that, C17 beside it, that was replaced, and I noticed that this resistor down here actually had a hot solder wicking going on, so I just pulled the resistor and uh, reseated it. It was, uh, I should have took a video of it before, but uh, anyone with experience with this would know what hot solder wicking will look like. The, the solder is just very dull looking, uh, lots of little pits in it. It just it got very hot, started wicking up that resistor. Uh, the amplifier is working now, but when I put that together, I found uh, a lot of noise in the pot. Actually, both pots, so I actually have them hooked up right now to the scope. This would be the uh, volume potentiometer and then that's the what they call that the high cutoff frequency so I'm checking the volume one right now and it's just uh you see we just have one volt potential across it and I'm on uh, one one millivolt divide DC coupling you know, not much to it and time it's up high uh, what is the time set at uh, one millisecond I think looks like see that? Yeah, something like one millisecond. So hopefully we can see how noisy this is. Yeah, how's that for some noisy pot, huh? I mean, it's it's crazy. So I'm going to uh, try to clean this with some alcohol, and then I'm going to report back. So hopefully it straightens it up. Okay, so there's alcohol. Just wanted to. Yeah, there's nothing special about it. There's my dish. Uh, there's actually the uh, preamp board. There's our pot. Uh, I actually I've used carburetor cleaner for this. Uh, you can use pretty much anything. I think um, just stay away from some really harsh solvents and uh, older potentiometers. You want me to be careful with like things made in the mid 70s. Uh, the film tends to fall off. But anyway, so here we go. I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, here I'm just going to blow the, uh, the pot out after I clean it with alcohol.
dollars are cost. It's uh still noisy, but not nearly as bad. And it's up here uh, somewhere around. Is that full volume or miniature mid volume? There's uh there's a little bit of some noise. Uh, it's definitely much better. I'm not sure if I should take it apart and have a look see. I don't know. Uh, or if I should try to filter that with a capacitor. Uh, huh. Just not sure. We'll see how much noise this has when it's in the system. Okay, here's the high cutoff frequency pot. It doesn't look nearly as bad as the main volume. Okay, we're gonna try. This is just the first section. There's actually uh, there's two pots in there. Let me see that. There we go. Yeah, see, I'm just on the front section. Um, no, you can see I was on the middle there. So I'm gonna move back to the uh, the rear wiper. Let's see what that one looks like. Okay. Um, on the rear wiper there. You see that? Yeah, okay. Wow, that guy's pretty noisy. Alright, so I'm gonna clean this up. Oh, look at that. It's uh, <laughs> a little noise. Uh, I'm not even touching it. Wow. That's crazy. Just as noisy as could be. All right, got that guy cleaned up. Still making some noise. Uh, I think it just needed worked in a little bit. Might be a good idea to replace these pots. I'm gonna put them back in just to see what it sounds like. If I hear any crackling, I'll try to I'll either filter it out with the capacitor or put some new ones in. It looks like it's getting better with some use. Okay, so time to reassemble. Okay, the word is uh, back in the amplifier. Now we'll uh, put the main amp back in. Okay, the power amp's installed. And now it's just uh, plugging some wires in, buttoning it up a little bit, and uh, Give it a test. I wanted to comment on this uh, This here. Right before I put it back together, you see they put uh, two pieces of heat shrink here. And uh, the heat shrink conveniently goes around the, uh, or the heat sink. Uh, a lot of times uh, manufacturers will do this as a very inexpensive but very effective um, 
mechanism, I suppose you'd say, to test to see if it overheated. Because if it gets too hot, the heat shrink will melt and it shrinks down. Um, I usually see this on resistors and things like that in a power supply, but I thought it was kind of neat to see it right beside the, uh, uh, the heat sink. So, uh, huh, that's neat. And here we are, all wires plugged in, and uh, knobs on the potentiometers. And now we're about ready to give it a frequency test. Okay, and gonna power up. Another green light. Just start the relay click. No magic smoke getting out. No crazy buzzing. Sparks flashing, none of that good stuff. This is uh where is it over a thousand watts or so. I imagine it's capable of putting on a show. Okay. So we have our old frequency generator at 50 hertz, 100 millivolts. And let's do peak to peak. Oh, that's a nice LED flicker in there. It's interesting. Okay. Volume is the uh, the way down. Both cutoffs are down. Frequency cutoff the way up. And we're 50% volume right now. any of that nasty uh, crackling that I heard before. So we're gonna try. Let me see if we can see this. I got it set at 160. Um, we'll go to 200. Uh, that cutoff is definitely working. Um, I cut off. Just cleaned it all up. Uh, I used the rest of the alcohol that was cleaning the applause with just to uh, clean the outside of it up. 
Uh, I had a little bit of fingerprints and things on it from people handling it. And uh, there it is. There's my butt kicker. Now I just need to get some transducers and, uh, or maybe just one transducer. Ah, the fun to come. <laughs>